Hey, what is up boys and girls? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up audio for your dual PC stream without the use of a mixer. So just be forewarned, this setup should cost you roughly around anywhere from 20 to $30. So a couple things that you're gonna need in order to complete this guide are two 3.5 millimeter audio cables, preferably shielded, two ground loop isolators, and the Elgato sound capture software. You're gonna need the Elgato sound capture software on both computers. That way we're able to route the audio appropriately between both rigs. So let's head over to Elgato's website. You're gonna to wanna to go to capture up top. So you wanna to click the download button. You're gonna scroll down a little bit, select your product. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the legacy page. And you're gonna to wanna to click on game capture HD. Select your OS and go ahead and download. No, thank you. So just as a reminder to you guys, you do not need to use the game capture software. I repeat, you do not need to use the game capture software at any point in time to make this work. You just need the Elgato sound capture software. That is it. And you're going to need to install this on your gaming and streaming PC. So go ahead and go through the installer. I already have this installed, so no need for me to go through this. Uh, you will be prompted at some point in time during this installation if you would like to also install the Elgato sound capture software go ahead and just accept and install that as well. That's really the bread and butter of getting the audio to work between both computers. So first things first, we're gonna get both of our computers connected to each other using the 3.5 millimeter cables and ground loop isolators. If you're asking yourself, do I really need these ground loop isolators? Check out this clip. I mistakenly thought I could run a dual PC stream without having ground loop isolators plugged in and this is what my audio sounded like. Is that true? Is there minor static coming from my mic? Thanks for pointing that out, Gary. Okay. So let's start with the gaming PC. In your gaming PC's motherboard, we're going to connect the 3.5 millimeter cable into the line out of your motherboard. Next, let's take the other end of our 3.5 millimeter cable and plug it into the ground loop isolator. Afterwards, plug the ground loop isolator into the line in of your streaming PC's motherboard. And we're gonna do vice versa for the streaming PC as well. Take your other 3.5 millimeter cable and plug it into the line out section of your streaming PC's motherboard. Take the other end, plug that into the ground loop isolator. Then plug the ground loop isolator into the line in of your gaming PC's motherboard. And with that completed, now we have a clean audio signal being sent to and from both computers. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our Elgato sound capture software. So when you open it up, it should be defaulted to the off button. You're gonna have a couple of buttons here in the middle. You're gonna have the team chat in case you wanted to use this software for stuff like Discord, Skype, music if you wanted to listen to music, uh, PC gaming if you wanted to use the software to listen to gameplay, chat with your friends, whatnot. Uh, but really the bread and butter and what we're looking for with this software is under the advanced tab. So starting from top to bottom, we have our output slider, which never really mess with that, just leave that at 100. Uh, but down here in the settings section, you're gonna see that these boxes right here are automatically gonna be selected. Uh, what this is going to do, it's gonna tell Windows that we want to use the Elgato sound capture device as our default device for playback and default communication device for playback. So what that means is if we go down here to our settings options, open sound settings, you'll see now that the Elgato sound capture software is defaulted to our output and input. Uh, to go a step further, if we go to our sound control panel, you'll see that the Elgato software is set as our default device and default communication device in both the playback and recording tabs. So we'll go ahead and close it out for the time being. Next, it's going to ask you, what's your audio input? Here's where you're going to want to select your microphone. In the next section, it's gonna ask you, where do you want to hear your audio? So this is where you're gonna tell the Elgato sound capture software where you want the audio to be piped out to. So obviously I want audio being sent to my capture card. So that way it sends the audio through the HDMI over to my streaming PC, uh, obviously my headphones. So that way I can actually listen to my gameplay. Uh, here is the output to the streaming PC that we renamed earlier. Uh, I actually leave that one muted, believe it or not. Uh, and also there's a speaker output on my microphone, so I just mute that as well. You're probably asking yourself, well, how are you getting your mic audio from your gaming PC over to your streaming PC, even though you have the line out muted? Well, how I achieve that is I will go to my sound settings and then I will open up our sound control panel again. And from there, I go to the recording tab. And with my microphone, even though it's not set to a default communications device or default device, what I'll do is I'll right click here, properties, 
I'll go to the listen tab. And then what I do is I click listen to this device. I'll check that off. And then here where it says playback through this device, I actually select the line out cable uh, from my gaming PC to the streaming PC. So that way my microphone is still getting piped out through that line out to my streaming PC. It's not the most perfect solution, uh, but it does work. Okay, and next we're gonna open up the Elgato sound capture software on our streaming PC. Uh, once again, it's going to be defaulted to the off section. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the advanced tab, uh, you know, from top to bottom. Once again, leave the output at 100. And once again, it'll set the sound capture software as your default device for playback, communi communications device for playback. Uh, what's your audio input? I have my microphone plugged into my gaming PC. It's just easier for me that way. So I leave this set to none. Uh, and the only reason why we need this software on our streaming PC is so that way you're able to hear things like bits, uh, alerts, or any other audio cues that you might want to hear coming from your streaming PC. Uh, I used to use voice mod a while ago. I don't really use it as much anymore. So I left that one muted. This is the line out from our streaming PC. Uh, and also I leave just the speakers set to default as well. This is just the um, standard audio drivers that come with Windows. So no harm in leaving that checked off as well. So pretty cut and dry. If you're looking for a written version of this, I have a link down below to my website so you can follow along step by step as well. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you found this educational or helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. I know I don't put up videos as much as I probably should, but at the end of the day, if I can at least help one person, hey, man, it's good enough for me. Appreciate you guys. I will see you on the next one. And happy streaming.